Gemini, welcome back to our Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm gonna be doing a general reading. Let's see what is coming towards your love, career, money messages. This is going to be a reading between April 15 to April 30. We're gonna be seeing what's happening in your life. Sun Moon Rising or Venus Sun in Gemini plus Ross Watchers. This is going to be our read. Cards have already been shuffled, so I'm still shuffling them again. You can also follow me on my Instagram to stay connected with me for free horoscopes every month plus crystal reels. <coughs> All right, Gemini. Wow. Someone is sneakily watching you and has feelings in you, Gemini. Okay? You don't trust this person. You're more like, leave me alone. I don't want to focus on love. I've had enough and I just want to focus on myself. So you right now are focusing on self-love. You're focusing on of uh, your happiness wisdom you're growing i'm seeing like your major focus is towards uplifting yourself making more money becoming more and more successful learning growing but there is a fear when it comes to opening up your heart and love your heart chakra is pretty blocked yeah but yes there's someone around that has been watching you keenly and is hesitant to make a move Scorpio Pisces can so they have feelings I'm saying whoever this is they have strong feelings now then we have the two of pentacles and the five of swords something is not right something is not right about this first let me see I feel like there's this uh, there is this behavior of this person that's manipulative you're not liking it it seems to be inconsistent it seems to be on and off but they have love for you okay this person has been lying to you about something all right then we have the ten of wands we have the ace of swords they really want this connection but they're avoiding it at the same time there are some responsibilities and problems in this person's life that is stopping them from coming towards you. That is blocking them from coming towards you. Okay. This is someone that is trying to deviate you from any kind of questions related to commitment or expectations. And that comes off as lying and manipulated from this person's end. What do they want to say? They're stuck with something before they don't release that person. Until they don't release that person, that situation that they're stuck in. They can't go forward with you. And they don't want to tell you the reason. Yes. They know that they have messed up. They've lied. And to hide a lie, they have been constantly lying about other things. And now they're not even available for you at times. They know they're all messing it up. They're messing it up for you. But they have no other option. What is going on with this person? They're feeling extremely low, sensitive, hurt, stressed out. What is happening with this person? We have the wheel of fortune. Things in their life are not consistent or stable. They're trying to heal themselves from the past hurt. Or some of you, I feel this person has gone through... You know a financial blockage or they may have left home recently and they have nowhere to live for some of you it is like that some of you they've been thrown out of their house or some of you uh they have tough time with their family their parents or their kids if they have but there has been some stressful situation that they're still trying to balance or still trying to come out of and it's taking time for them to release it something has hurt them deep within that is blocking them from openly coming towards you because they're highly sensitive they haven't forgotten that situation they haven't come out of that situation fully they're stuck they're unhealed they're they're sad what this is okay gemini there's a lot of stress that they're carrying with themselves and they don't want to tell you that there's someone that has feelings for you there's something that is going on in their home okay there's this their home dynamics is not good some of you they had to leave the home for some reason some of you they had to shift some of them they had to lose their house okay 
maybe their house is on mortgage and they had to lose it because they couldn't pay the bills there could be many different reasons but they're not happy wherever they are and that is the reason why they're not coming towards you with full confidence so they really need your support but they can't tell you exactly what is happening in their life this is stressing them too much because they're handling all of this by self okay and you've started to doubt this person thinking about them cheating on you but that's not the case i feel this person is definitely surrounded by someone maybe stepmother stepfather stepbrother sister or whatever or maybe someone else maybe there's a tenant uh, i mean maybe there's there's a landlord that is troubling them so i'm seeing oh they have bank troubles accounts maybe they have, the banks are after them whatever this is they're surrounded by some difficult people around them that they can't they are trying to come out of but they have no way you know to release i feel like you're deciding to walk away from this person or very soon i'm seeing you walking away from this person if you haven't yet but when you decide to walk away from this person 101 percent, this person will tell you everything that's going on in their life to stop you from leaving because they are holding it to themselves from a pretty long time but they cannot afford to lose you. This person is not ready to lose you at any cost. So there you have the upper hand and you have the control and this person will lose the control and tell you exactly what is bothering them. Because the intensity of emotions towards you, this person has very strong. They have strong feelings, strong emotions, strong attraction towards you. They have a lot to say to you. They will also come to you with an apology telling you that they didn't mean to hurt you, but they had no other option. So this person is stuck with a lot of things, which is why you may feel like they're too on and off. But the truth is, this person has a lot of love for you. Deep inside, you do know that is why you're staying or that is why you're not taking an abrupt action. But when you will be forced to take an abrupt action, that is when this person will tell you exactly how they feel for you. There are strong emotions. You have no idea how much this person has love for you they can't live without you they can you know they can give up on their luxuries they can give up on their money they can give up on their house the people that they're surrounded with but they cannot give up on you this is someone that has found solace peace happiness harmony in you okay they want to just sit uh, their head on your lap and cry out loud they know that you are going to pamper them you're going to uh, console them they need your support they need your nurturing power they need your love okay because this person is going through a lot of you wait the message for you is to have some patience this is someone that will exactly tell you what is going on with them and you will feel bad for this person you will feel empathy for this person they could be 38 or older but i'm definitely seeing whatever is lost in trust is going to come back if you keep patience with this person because they are going through a tough time right now they need your support the truth is you guys both of you are going to be so crazy in love with each other you guys won't be able to live without each other now this could be someone that is just around the corner that's going to happen in your life some of you are already living this experience but whatever it is once they come into your life they're not leaving because there's intense passion from both the sides it's mutual I'm also seeing you guys getting cozy, intimate with each other and getting things, you know, on same page. You guys will make it work, okay? I'm seeing them writing a message to you, telling you exactly what is going on with them. For some of you, if you're feeling so uh, hurt or suffocated and you don't know what to do, it is better to write down and send it to this person what is bothering you. For some of you, if you're feeling stuck, there is a need for you to vent out by writing. Some of you are authors, some of you are writers. I'm seeing in this field, you will do really well. So universe is putting you in this direction of writing your thoughts and emotions and spreading it out to the world and letting them know how you're good in, okay, how much you're good in your writing. Some of you write novels or some of you are fond of writing something, okay, writing and then discussing. I feel that is what you love and that is where your life purpose is. I'm definitely seeing you guys will write a lot of messages to each other, telling each other your situation. And that's how the love will build up. There is a need for you if you can't communicate through words, you know, verbally. 
then the communication should happen through writing at least because that will keep the bonding strong and build a stronger trust between the two of you so the love is definitely there from both the sides it's not like they're just playing you and you're wasting your time it's not like that it's not always the same okay like that yes i'm definitely seeing that romantic situation is getting even more romantic and i'm also seeing you could meet this person if you haven't met them through someone you're going to meet this person through a known person through a friend through a family member but you're going to meet this person soon okay if you haven't and this is your destiny and this is a person for you so strong romantic feelings they have for you yes i feel they will mess it up in the beginning they don't know how to deal with this because they're falling in love and at the same time they're scared of losing you and then they're going through a lot in their life so you might get stuck you might get messed up because of this person's attitude and then later on there will be a forgiveness there will be apologies accepted and from there onwards you guys will have a new beginning full of trust romance and writing each other what bothers you yes truth to be told i feel this person has been hiding something from you that they're going to reveal real soon and that is an important thing for you to know because they have been wanting to they they were trying to protect you so that you don't get affected but now they will be telling you exactly what was bothering them so from there onwards the relationship is going through a complete change a complete shift they're highly protective of you you guys are gonna win in love both of you and this could be a libra but i'm seeing you both winning in love doing things for each other loving balancing emotions and i'm seeing things are gonna move ahead okay you have a long way to go in love with each other this is someone that will definitely break the ice and let you know exactly how they feel for you so a fiery climax is about to come and they will hit the nail right on point and exactly mention what you want to hear okay this is someone that is definitely aggressive and vocal about their feelings okay so they're not going to stay or keep you stuck for a long time they will tell you exactly how they feel this could be an aries as well yeah this is happening just breathe right now it's time for you to stay stable that is more important for you because you may be all over the place not able to try and not able to find answers taking a lot of tarot readings trying to get to know what is happening with this person you just need to relax breathe deep go for some yoga meditation or any kind of exercise stretching to feel better okay and give it to god right now you don't have to be controlling or trying to fix things i'm also seeing that you have been quiet and have not been discussing your matter with the person there is a need if you really want this connection to work out and love to prosper let the other person know what bothers you there is a need for you to be more expressive vocally or write down if you're not able to confront this again stability four and four this is a very clear message that love definitely is going to prevail but there is a need for you to be more open and expressive okay even if you're angry just vent it out let this person know even if you're happy let this person know what bothers you let this person know let them know who you are okay and when you went out when you let the other person know what goes on within you you will feel more relieved as if the pent up energy that you've been keeping to yourself is now releasing slowly and you have love for this person you feel stable you feel secure so uh yes that will also affect your sensual chakra which is your sacral chakra so don't let it get affected by keeping emotions stuffing them inside there is a need for you to be more vocal about your thoughts okay let me see the signs coming towards you okay then we have gemini oops we have cancer you could be dealing with a cancer you could be dealing with an aries Cancer again, Aquarius. These are the most probable signs. Now let's see from Aries to Pisces. What does your person think and feel for you in love and other messages? Let's see, Aries, please. 
oh my gosh aries feels like a loser and they don't want to talk to you because they're hurt they're angry they may end up blocking you maybe this is the end taurus wants they are protective of you i feel this person is ready to wait if you make them wait but this is someone that doesn't want to spoil this relation they want to take it forward towards marriage because there's deep emotions and carnal desires also you guys may get cozy as well the gemini very interested in you you're the only one that they want and they are going to tell you this thing okay this person is straightforward cancer cancer sees you as a soulmate you're their one and only and they have decided that they want to take it forward towards marriage leo this person is too much into their what ifs and that is why they're not able to give 100 percent to this they feel like the past is bothering them and which is why they're just not giving you their 100 percent they might end up losing you and then later regret Okay, Virgo. Virgo has deep, intense attraction. I feel this person has a crush on you. This is someone that can go to any lengths to let you know that they have feelings. But before that, they're being observant and they have been stalking and spying to let them be more easy while they approach you. Libra. Oh, wow. This could be someone very rich and successful. This person wants to take you off and get married to you and make more money with you. Oh, this person has like a big, huge bank balance, bungalow, mansion, whatever it is. But this is someone that wants to shower you with luxurious gifts and prosper. You know, this is someone that wants you to prosper. They want to be there for you. Okay, Scorpio. This person wants commitment. Until and unless you don't say yes, they won't move forward. Yeah, this is someone that wants marriage. But I feel something is keeping them stuck here. Maybe it's because of family problems that's stopping, that's keeping them slow. They're slowly coming towards you, but they have made up their mind already that they want marriage. Sagittarius. This person is deciding between you and the other person. They just want not to get hurt later on. Capricorn. This could be a same-sex relationship as well. Oh, the Capricorn is going through a lot. I feel they're not feeling completely um, happy, open. They are stressed out, anxious, worried. There's a lot of tense emotions inside, which is why they are not available right now. They don't want you to see that, what they're suffering from. Aquarius. Yeah, they're feeling insecure of letting you know how they feel because they don't see themselves capable of you or somewhere there is a fear of judgment. Okay, Pisces. The Pisces is trying their best to move on from the past and be with you or they have the negative thoughts about this thing cannot work out and they're over trying. That is backfiring them. Okay, so the Pisces need to be more relaxed and more happier and easy work in order to work this thing out. Okay, it's time for you to focus on yourself and it's also there is a change happening in your life of traveling, okay? There's a call or a message from someone at a long distance. Someone is missing. You're just going to reach out to you and make you happy when they call you. Beginning. I'm seeing a new beginning in your life happening for sure. Okay. Uh, probably with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, I'm also seeing a new job or new environment that brings in more money and happiness and excitement. I feel like your money is going to grow uh, within this year. Uh, spend time in the nature or be real and natural and authentic self. Your real self is more exciting than your, you know, made up. You don't need to be made up. Focus on yourself. This is what this is saying. You have a Virgo Taurus Capricorn very interested. Write down the comment section. I'm making million dollars every day. I'm rich. I'm successful. And also you need to be more grounded. Keep doing grounding activities. Nature, go out in the nature. Deep breathing exercises will help you a lot. Release all the pent up anger. There is a need for you to wait. If, if you're dealing with someone like that, there is a need for you to, you know, uh, be patient. You will get the results. You will know what exactly you're supposed to do. It's time for self-care, self-love. Some of you are designers, some sort of designers, architects, interior designers, or makeup artists, or any kind of designers. Or you love designers or you love just simply 
you know, uh, beautifying yourself. This is what I'm seeing. Yeah, this person may be living from on, in the uh, another part of the uh, world. Maybe they're co coming from a different country. And I'm also seeing uh, there's going to be a distance between the two. If you're long distance, you guys need to travel towards each other. Or this is someone that comes from a very different cultural background. But I'm definitely seeing this is someone that will make up to you. This is someone that will do something special to bring the old energy back into this relationship and never let go of you. So you will see a surprise like they'll do something special for you. All you need to do is just focus on self-love. That's it. So that's about it, Gemini. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful week. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to INEPA. I'll see you back again with more stuff.